so quickly we have comment model and we said that you know it morphs to with the name commentable okay that is the reason inside story we have a comments relationship which says that morph many comment class name commentable okay so we need to understand this is why it is named here and we define the class so now with this basic relation in place we'll do php artisan migrate let's look at our database this is comments okay this is created so now let's comment our comment controller and so what all things do we have um we have post data right so post data user id is going to be request user id commentable type okay commentable id now these are something which we need to also require so in our case it will be story id required for sure and exists exists in i think uh, table stories right and mm, let me see the validation i don't remember the syntax for exist i think it is colon then then comma if i'm not wrong validation available validation rules and we look for exist save so colon states okay so this and we're looking for id obviously you know when we try to add that relationship right which is commentable type and commentable id we will need that right so um we need the story and then we will attach it as per the model so let's quickly see i think we are sending that id if i'm not wrong let's go to the react tab this is comment group um da, 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 da. no we are not that is going to be a tricky thing let's see um story view in this story where is the component which we are loading um, app dot js comment group we are loading it inside the comments wrapper so this is our comment wrapper okay and uh, how do we somehow need to pass the uh, story id otherwise it will not work and story id are we getting it inside comment group comment group i think we can get it from the url however okay let's see right now we will take it from url so window dot location dot href we get this dot split right on this and what we definitely want to do is so this is going to be where array url equals this okay let, let's code it out and see so this is going to give me the entire uh, window dot location this is um let array url equals this right and what we will do is this is the array so we can say let 
story id is equal to length minus one right so this is um we'll get array url array url dot length minus one and let's console it and see if we are getting that because i need to pass it in some way right so story id is four if i take three let's say story id three which is fine and uh, we are defining the state in here so we, what we can do is take this here and uh, st story id is story id so this should work you don't need the console anymore and when we are sending comment along with that as per our controller we will append the story id why don't we do story id okay and in here this dot state dot story id save this save this um story equals story find or fail post data story id okay so we will get the story let's see if we are able to get that return this hit refresh okay get rid of that console and right we get we are getting the story right so this is fine now let's move ahead we have our story we have the post data okay we need to save the comment so we will do story comment hold on story comments so comments is it save or create i i need to check let's see <coughs> um it's body right let's quickly see the table so we have commentable type these things are fine um save body post data comment user id is okay why we don't need that we can do directly request user id don't need to assign it and this is save or create i think it will be create okay um so let's try it out whether it is going to work or not test we get a 500 let's see what's the log mm -hmm. so it says create doesn't exist so is it safe i tend to forget this i should have checked sorry about that um test no okay let me quickly check and then we will make that change okay so i think the problem here is first of all it's comment with brackets and then it is create this will work and we will have this as let's say comment let us respond back response 201 okay clear it out this is a comment and we are getting all the data points so hit the database refresh okay this is the trial i did and this is comment so now if i go to stories and one more trial in here i'll come and say this comment will get saved in db hit save 
so this is coming over here the only change which we need to do I think is it's not coming here right we, we can't see our comment so the reason is very simple we have comment and body whereas no I think we have body right yes so in our response we need to see how, how our response was coming uh, I have closed the console mm, let's go over here oh yeah it's still there so we have ID will be comments is this and then unshift so response dot data dot body because this is the body and this will be ID okay and I think for now it should work there is a bug I mean we still we are hard coding one two however we will not get that key because on fourth um, story we will get the key as three otherwise it will be a repeat of the unique key so one more comment add and we are getting it so the basic step is done that now we are able to get the save to work with the user id which is you know submitting the form right so ah did i just hit no is this making a post it's not then how is this getting created let's refresh adding to test hit save this is coming here that's strange I don't know I think I by mistake added an empty column uh, sorry empty row so our comments are getting saved we are getting all the context this is our you know polymorphic uh, relationship which is working right we can use any other model as well to store other kinds of data but right now this is what we are doing and in the next video we will look at how to load the comments through an ajax call so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel